So I got this brother that's, you know, really frustrated about, you know, modern women here in America. And he's got to kind of explain why he likes to go overseas. But let me, let me go ahead and roll that because I want to caution some of you brothers on some things. It's like, I got to be honest, like, I don't go overseas to just be taking pictures along a wall or drinking some f***ing margarita on the beach. I travel to get away from American women because American women do not give a f about modern men, especially black men. I mean, we're treated damn near the worst by our own women and the opposites as well. And a lot of other races of men have just gotten tired of this shit and they're just like, look, we're leaving. You know, I had enough of this. I can't deal with it no more. The amount of stress that we have to deal with on the workforce and in the world itself. And then number three, we have to come home and argue and fight with you. And we're talking about the same woman that we're literally laying down, creating life with, trying to create families with and have something special. And you're telling me this is what we have to settle for? No. That you need to get your passport. You need to go overseas and get better, please. I know a lot of you are frustrated with you know, what happens in America. I know you're frustrated with the entitlement. I know you are frustrated with some of the unrealistic expectations. Trust me. I know it's crazy because when I was, you know, a lot of y'all age, much younger in my twenties, definitely younger twenties. It wasn't like that, bro. If you listen, it was like this and, and shout out to all the, 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 the generation gen X. Cause that's what I'm part of. I was born on the very, 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 very tail end of gen X. If you was a dude that just had a job, you know what I'm saying? Didn't live in your mama house, had a car, you know, um, man, you, you had opportunity to, to holler. It, it, look, if you can just take her out on a date, um, she was cool with it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't all this. Give me a hundred dollars. You know, Oh, you send me $30. It ain't no money. Like, no, it was none of that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them, you know, in that time period, you know, they, they liked you for you, man. You could just take her to the park and you all can just have some freaking press ham sandwiches or whatever, have like a little picnic or whatever. And I'm not saying that you can't do that now, but I, I understand where y'all generation is at, right? A lot of you young brothers. So, so a lot of you saying, let me get my passport. I'm going overseas in which you're right. Going overseas, you still got some of that, um, mentality that maybe some of us saw in the past, but at the same time overseas, they got the internet too. And you, some of you are starting to learn you're running into the same things that you ran into in America. It's not that always changing locations is going to be uh, your saving grace. A lot of times it's going to link back to you because if you have the simp gene, then women overseas are going to, going to pull your simp gene card a lot quicker than they'll pull it over here because they got more, way more needs sometimes and maybe some women over here and it's due to their particular, you know, situation. Right. So, because, you know, some of you will start simping a lot quicker because the currency exchange and now you, cause listen, you, you just can't simp here in America because you don't make enough, but that same amount of money over here, you take it over there. Now you kind of like the dudes here that got money and you got some of these dudes that simp, right? A woman will treat you a certain way if you're simping and a woman will treat you a certain way. If you're not going to be a simp, if you're going to be assertive, you're going to be a doggone man. You understand what I'm saying? And some of you having problems with women overseas too. Some of you we've seen, we've seen the videos. Some of you don't know when some girl out here is just tricking some, some of y'all just, just, just go over go. Why do you leave America and go out there with your nose wide open, bro? You're like, you can't do that. You got to listen. You got to be a student of the culture you're going to as well. Or even what's expected of you. You know, sometimes you got situations like some of y'all be going out there to places like the Philippines where they don't have no, where they can't get divorced. And some of y'all start getting in whole relationships with females. that got a whole husband and the husbands are actually cool with it because she bringing money back home. And which in our culture, like what the hell? But Yes, some of that mess go on because they can't get divorced in their culture either. And if they say they leave their husband, they're still legally married. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like it's a whole lot of things that in different cultures, y'all not even studying or even trying to get into. Your saving grace is not going to be a foreign woman. Now, meaning the right woman, whether she's in the United States or foreign, that's fine. But don't throw your whole lot in life into a doggone woman. She's a human being. Your elevation gonna come from come out of you, not a woman. 
a woman can only compliment what you're doing. She can't be your end all be all. That's only, that's only God supposed to be your end all be all. You, how you rise and fall is based on you as a doggone man. You don't give a woman that put that much on a woman. You always going to be disappointed in women. If you put in all your happiness and all your everything on a woman, no, that they, they wouldn't even hear to that for that. If you look at even the scripture, she's supposed to be your help meet, help you and assist you on top of companionship and your wife and you know, children and all that sort of thing. But she was not here to make, to, to do everything for you. No, you put on something on her that was never for her to do. So don't get so caught up on the passport being my saving grace. Don't do that. You got to be a little bit more wise than that. Cause you can run into the same problems overseas. Trust me. And certain things uh, American women don't do. American women's not over here putting scope of in your drinks. <laughs> they not doing that. Now they may have, they may do some things, but they're not doing that. Okay. So, so you got, you got to think a little bit, you know, and, and, and just be careful because some of y'all are, are, you know, going into bad situations. You don't know, you know, y'all be walking around filming sometime in some of these countries and like, bro, like, do you see how these people are looking at you while you filming? Like, especially the dudes, like y'all, it's like y'all don't be paying attention to nothing y'all got going on. Your nose too wide open. Y'all got to be a little bit more careful when you're in these foreign countries.